Hello everyone and welcome to the SharePoint Developer Training Course Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 10. Today we're going to be talking about if statements. So let's go ahead and open up uh, Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express and we'll look at today's itinerary. Uh, we're going to be talking about the if statement, the if else, and then the nested if. Uh, and also, just so you know, as a side note, uh, today is bring your dogs to work day, or bring your pets to work day, and I brought two big labs. So if you see any, uh, or you hear any panting in the background, uh, that's probably not me. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll create three variables. Uh, we'll make them, we'll make them ints. Int my one equal one, int my two equal two, int my three e equal three. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement, if, and then we're going to put in our expression, and again, an expression is just a statement that returns a value. Uh, in this case, it's, it's a boolean. So we're going to say, my one is equal, equal to one. That's simple enough. A little, actually, you know what? And then we'll say, let's see, if that's true, we'll do console, right line, uh, let's see here, true. Okay, now we'll go ahead and run this and we should get true. So now we'll go ahead and do this again. I mean, it says true, right? So, Let's see here, and let's see what do you think we're going to get here. My guess is we're going to get true and true. Okay, that makes sense. Now, if we go ahead and change this to does not equal one, which will equate, you know, it'll false, uh, so it should not exe uh, execute this, so we should get uh, nothing, right? Well, actually, when we go ahead and run it, we still get true, and the, and the reason for this is it only exit the very next statement. One thing that you're always going to want to do, and I do it no matter what, is put these brackets here. So, and the reason for that is it makes it easier to understand, and now we can ex execute an entire uh, block. So we'll run this again, not going to get anything, and if we make this true, uh, both statements will run. So. Um, that's essentially the if statement. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about the if else. And the else is simply adding an else statement. Because right now, if anything uh, is false, uh, we don't run anything. But if we do the else, that means that'll let us enable something to run uh, if anything is ever false. So we'll just do console. right line, false, and just as a reminder, system, console, right line, false. And the reason we, what we're really doing here is we're doing the exact same thing, but uh, since we have this using uh, namespace, we don't need to actually write this system, but it's still, you know, the exact same thing. So let's see here, and put that here, it'll all line up, and we'll go ahead and run this, and we get true and true. Makes sense. We make it false, and we should get, again, what? False and false. Perfect. So now the next thing we want to do, let's say we'll just delete this. Uh, we can do uh, another if statement. So we'll do if. And let's use all of our variables. So we'll do my two uh, equal equal to my three. Okay. Console right line true. Okay. Now, if we run this, what do we think we're going to get? So let's let's just figure it out beforehand, that, and then uh, you know, and then see if we're correct. So this will be false, 
because you know one does not equal one. No, it does actually equal one. One is one, so false. It'll skip over this, go to the else, and it'll say if my two is equal to my three, which is false again. Um, so so really, we're we're not doing anything here, are we? No. Now if we change this uh, around, you know it would run. And again, we can just put another else, or we could even make it, uh, you know, even trickier. So we'll do if, let's see here, uh, we'll just one, we'll do my two equal equal to two. Okay, so now it's starting to get a little more complicated, right? So we have this uh, false, we know that, and then it goes to here, then it's false, so it's still, it looks like it's never going to even get in there because, it, you know, it would have to go down to the else if this was false, and it is false. So let's go ahead and make this true. So now it's false, goes to the else, um, then this is true, so then it's going to write true, and then it's going to give us another true, uh, you know, it's going to write this no matter what, if this, is, if this is false, and then it'll it'll evaluate this expression, and then if this is true, it'll write this statement. So when we run this, we should get true, true. And if we make this false, we'll only get one. So as you can see, uh, you know, we have a if statement, the if else, and then nested if is just when you have ifs inside of ifs, and it can get pretty complicated. And, you know, if you start removing these, these braces, one, it won't execute it as a block. It'll only execute the first statement. And two, it becomes incredibly confusing. So whenever you're writing if statements, uh, always make sure you're, you you write the blocks uh, blocks out and really think about exactly what you're what you're writing and understanding you know before you you run it what you're what you're going to get. It's it's a better way to make sure that you know exactly what's going on because this stuff definitely can get tricky. So that's it for today's lesson. Hopefully you'll join me tomorrow. Thanks guys.